What's up fam? Welcome back. Today we are doing a TSL collection haul and I know what you're thinking. Here she is once again to tease us to come back once per year and say with some intention that she is going to start making these, you know, weekly YouTube videos now. <laughs> Don't want to make any promises as I said last year because it definitely didn't pan out. And last year I ended up, you know, coming down here to San Diego. I think I made a couple videos last year, more than just one. But, you know, this one of course has a little bit more of a point to it. So I'm excited to dive in and of course who knows what's going to happen over the next couple of months. But excited to be here. Now I am very much grounded in San Diego, grounded in social media and running my business here. And now I am a full-time online coach and I run my business completely through Instagram and hilariously enough I started to do TikTok things now so that's been fun but yeah that's my life little update what I really want to do today is just do this really fucking awesome haul that is my friend Nicole Axelson her brand TSL collection this is their Amore collection and I have I have pieces here I'm gonna show you soon this is the Amore collection it is launching February 22nd and the reason I am filming this video with I know that you can't see it but with a little bit weird lighting I literally have four lights on and the light above me it's because it is 9 p.m. on a Tuesday and I wanted this to be kind of like a wine Wednesday chat so I have my wine and this is my second glass so we're gonna make this fun this is gonna be a grand old time so grab a glass of wine let's sit and chat about the one thing that most women can agree upon that we love clothing cheers to that so as I said, this is my friend Nicole Axelson's brand and TSL stands for Team Self Love. So a really fucking awesome brand all about loving yourself, who you are, as you are. She caters to all body shapes and sizes and I mean all body shapes and sizes. She has a really large size range and I'm super appreciative of her for that and for even including me in her brand. I think this is the third collection now that she has sent me in full and she sent me double. She sent me double this collection. Definitely gonna be doing a giveaway here and details are gonna be at the end of the video. And I'm also gonna be doing a giveaway on my Instagram with a lot of these pieces. So without further ado, let's just dive into this. So for everything, we're gonna go through the color, the fit, and the fabric. I'm gonna take you through the names, the sizing details, all that jazz. I'm also gonna have a little video clip for each and every piece of me kind of like showing you it on my body not just as it is now. So I am currently wearing the Soul Tank right now. That's the first one that I want to talk about. So the Soul Tank, I think, is probably my favorite piece of the collection. And it does come in three colors, as I mentioned. So currently, I am wearing Desire. Um, and then we have Amore and Adore. This is a little bit less of a, like, in-your-face color. It's a much more soft, kind of faded look for all of them. Uh, the wine color, I actually wore this one this morning when I was doing a deadlift. And I definitely think that <laughs> I should have worn this one I really should have just like worn this one um, they really do go hand in hand this is perfect wine is the perfect descriptor for this color whereas this is definitely a true navy and then I've been trying so hard to figure out how to explain this green I would say it's kind of like a dark sage not quite a basil um, I'd say basil is the other color that we're gonna dive into of the green with the sweatsuits but something that I love that she did with this collection is that the lighting sets being kind of like one tone and the sweatsuits being another tone I have been vibing off of that kind of two-tone green, two-tone blue, two-tone purple, whatever, um, in one outfit. So if you go on my Instagram now, you'll kind of see that I've had a couple of different workout videos in which I did play off of those tones. So I love that you can wear these together as like a one color set, but also if you're pairing them with the sweatpants, that two-tone look looks really good together. And because they are the same color, it still goes nicely. I fucking love it. I'm super vibing with it. And... <laughs> I'm a millennial dude. I can't even believe it. Super vibing with it. That's not even like a cool like Gen Z thing to say. Who knows? Now, let's talk about fit when it comes to the Soul Tank. I loved the Fearless bras. All the bras from the previous collection, which I think there are still going to be a couple. Just a few of them in stock on the website now. Some of the colors that she has in stock of that bra are going to go really well with this collection as well. All that being said though, uh, with the Fearless bra, I loved how it was low cut and it definitely gave me a little bit more cleavage than I'm used to having or that I've ever had in my entire life, to be honest. Being that I am the person who, like, my best video on YouTube is the itty bitty titty committee video, basically just giving you all the information about how to shop for sports bras with no boobs but 
I love that bra because of that low cut line that really gives me the illusion of cleavage. And I have one, I think, here to kind of show you a little bit more of what I'm talking about in comparison in case you do already have this bra. So as you can see, this is gonna be a much more lower neckline in comparison to the entirety of the rest of the, the sports bra. These tanks are, they're much more like tanks, like true tanks, right? This isn't a super low neckline for me. I still have like a pretty nice like decolletage or whatever. Like <laughs> you can see my chest still pretty nicely. It's not super high neck, um, but overall it is longer. It is much longer than the Fearless bra. And it is, I would say, considered a true tank whereas this one i wear as like a crop or like a long line sports bra so a little different this one has a little bit more support and this one is going to be much more like i said a true tank but for someone who is of the itty bitty titty committee as i said i wear this to any workout bouncing around doesn't really <laughs> limit me i was doing deadlifts and then today uh, and it was super comfortable very supportive and still gives me enough shape so overall fit is Really, still a beautiful thing here in the Soul Tank. I love the open back, big, beautiful open back. And it's just like the subtle details that I think are the best. I think the subtle detailing in terms of the fit is what makes her pieces really beautiful. For me, having a very short torso, I don't have much of a crop, but depending on the size and depending on your height and your torso size and all that jazz, you're gonna have a fit a little bit differently. So I've seen many of the girls who are part of TSL Collection have this fit as more of a crop, but if you do have a short torso, uh, then it's likely not going to fit you as much of a crop. It's probably gonna go just right to the top of where the leggings hit, whether or not they're high-waisted, high-waisted legging. Um, I'm basically able to over, uh, I'd say probably about a centimeter or two, overlap my leggings and my shirt, which I like, especially for a deadlift day, where I am using my lifting belt. It covers me and I don't have my lifting belt irritating my skin. So fit is great. Love the fit. Doesn't give me like boobies or anything, <laughs> but I do think it is incredibly flattering, especially for someone who does have not wider lats, but I have muscle in my back, right? I work out. Um, so it doesn't cut, it doesn't dig, it feels super comfortable, and I'm an extra small in everything in terms of the legging set. So extra small leggings and extra small in these tops. Really good straps too, but again, with a smaller with a smaller chest, you don't worry too much about the straps being something that's gonna like rip off and have a boob flying out. If anything, it'll just... <sighs> if that makes sense. I would say my recommendation for the Soul Tank, true size, absolutely 100%. Ever like, nose air goes in your line and blows back like really ripe line air into your eyeballs? <sighs> this is 25. <laughs> Recently I had a viral video on TikTok. Oh my gosh, TikTok is a scary place. People are aggressive on TikTok, positively and negatively aggressive. All that being said, I have learned through TikTok that as a 25 year old millennial, I'm lame. Side parts, not in. Skinny jeans, not in. All the things that I know to be cool, not in. Not cool anymore. So, I digress. Now, let's talk about the fabric. So the fabric of the Soul Tank and the Luna leggings are going to be very similar. It's a much more buttery soft kind of feel than the past collection being more of like a silky kind of like sportswear compressive feel. This is more athleisure I would say, but again I wear them to the gym, I sweat in them. I do think that in general this kind of fabric is probably going to show sweat a little bit more easily, but I wasn't too bothered by any of the sweat that I saw when I was using the lighter color in the leggings for working out. So, um, as I said, buttery, smooth, think Lululemon Aligns, think Alpha Lee Alpha Lux. It's not flimsy, like it's not a flimsy fabric, and these are double lined. There are two layers of fabric here, so I'm, I'm stoked off of this. It's a really beautifully structured tank, and to top it all off, her logos are now in this nice rubber and as someone who <laughs> abuses my activewear and just throws it into the dryer and hopes and prays that it comes out in one piece because of you know just pure laziness. I will say though I hang dried these the other day. I washed all of them already and I did hang dry them. But 
that all being said this rubber logo on everything it's not gonna peel off like other logos do from other brands when you toss them in the dryer because you're a lazy piece of shit like I am so we're just being honest here we're a glass and a half in of wine so that's that on that so now let's dive into the Luna leggings I did already talk a lot about the color and the fabric of everything since the Soul Tank and the Luna leggings are both sharing the fabric and the colors but we are going to talk a little bit more about the fit because they have changed a little bit especially from the past launch the past launch the leggings i'd say the past two launches the leggings have been a little bit long on me personally actually no i take that back um not the power collection so the power collection was kind of like the leopard print those were a perfect length of legging for me before that I actually had to trim the Luna leggings in launches way prior and then the Ari leggings I think they were in the Fearless launch. I cut about an inch and a half off the bottom of the leg to make sure that they were like a 7 8 length on me and didn't bunch at the bottom. Now what she did with the Luna leggings for this launch specifically is she took about an inch and a half off so they're absolutely perfect length for me. I am 5'3", 120, 325 pounds, and these fit me perfectly in an extra small in every single shape and way. I actually feel like I could gain a little bit more weight and fill these out just a bit better in terms of having them stay in the place I want them to on my hips, but I do fluctuate between kind of like 120 and 127 um, so right now I'm in a little bit more of like that building phase and trying to gain a little bit more weight and so they're perfect because they're gonna have that ability to stretch as I kind of grow and then also when I am in my leaner tinier stages as I tend to be as a human being um, still fit pretty comfortably so we love that about the fit we love that she shortened them having that is Great, I think also for people who are very tall, you're of course not gonna have any bunching, but they're not gonna become super short on you. They're not gonna become like a calf length legging if they're a full length on me. So the shortest I've heard anybody say that they were is about a seven eighths length as is. Um, but I also will say that people need to be a lot less scared of cutting their leggings when they do feel like they're a little bit too long because this fabric, at least within the TSL collection ranges, this fabric is very sturdy and it's not gonna fray. So not saying like, hey, go cut your leggings, but like, like, hey, go cut your leggings. <laughs> anyway, as you've probably seen, there's just like the videos that I put up here in terms of like me wearing the leggings. There's no front seam, and that's really big. That is huge. Not having a front seam on leggings is so much more comfortable for a woman, especially when we're in the gym, trying to hike our leggings up our butt crack to give us that definition that we want so bad. <laughs> In order to do that, you can't have that middle seam. You have the middle seam and then it goes up in the front and up in the back. We're only trying to get that credit card swipe down that mid, just yeah, butt crack line and get that two cheek definition. That is what we want, that is what we strive for. And thankfully, without a front seam, but also having a seam in the back, we can achieve that. What a beautiful thing. <laughs> So, as I was saying, the Soul Tank and the Luna Legging all come in these beautiful, somewhat more like muted or faded tones. Um, the Adore in green, and I know this lighting is going to be kind of harsh to see, but the Adore in green, Desire in blue, now you can really see the difference here of these two side by side, and of course, a more in this beautiful wine color. And so, three of them side by side, they all look so beautiful together. Sorry, something fell in the living room. As I was saying before, chaos erupted. Are we all drunk? No. Three colors, all together. Beautiful, right? I don't know how it would feel necessarily about that. I don't know. I think you could maybe because of the earth tones. This one you might be able to get away with a little bit more. I will say though, collectively, as a collection, collectively as a collection, the, the colors and the tones really just kind of mix well together amongst all of the pieces. So go for it. Be bold. You want to put red and green together? Do the damn thing and celebrate Christmas in fucking February. Nothing is stopping you. <laughs> the Luna leggings also come in black. And these were the ones I wore today while deadlifting. Not even close. Like, not even close to see through at all whatsoever. Like, I can hold this up to light and really, really have to stretch it to be able to see my bright ass ring lights through it. So 
farthest thing from not being squat proof. Great fabric for that. Um, I'll probably try to maybe put up a video of a squat test in here just so you can really see it with the ring lights right on a couple of different colors. Again, this beautiful rubber simple logo. I can totally tell I wore these today. There's dog hair all over them. <laughs> It's just super subtle and I think that is important especially when you're I don't know like you're not we used to be those people who just wore things that said like Gymshark and Alphalete and I guess I do still have a couple pieces that <laughs> say Alphalete like right across the front of them but I will say that this is just I think this is more respectable the fact that TSL is really trying to represent itself as a brand in the style of the clothing and not by the aggressive branding on <laughs> the actual pieces of clothing. In general, a very beautifully well-made legging. Never had an issue with threading or uh, or like being threadbare, ripping, pilling, none of that. If you're gonna pick one thing from the collection, the Luna legging, the second thing, Soul Tank. Hands down, period, the end, the best pieces. And honestly, worth the investment because they are so well made. Okay fam, sweatpants and sweatshirts. <laughs> Let's do it. Sweatsuits. Sweat suits, right? Funny because you sweat in the leggings and then these. You don't really want to be sweaty when you're wearing sweats. I've never even thought of that. I like to be sweaty when I'm wearing sweats. Does that mean sweat and sweats? Things, just thinking about things. The red, the green, and the blue, your basic colors, um, but just a slight, slight change to them in terms of tone, okay? So you've got this lovely green in Worthy. Worthy is the name of this one, we love that. Passion is your red, and Bliss is your blue. So again, all just slightly different tones than the Soul Tank and the Luna Leggings, but I would consider them to be a lot more deeper, richer, truer, right? Still kind of in that navy, wine, and um, this is what I would say, basil. Basil or even like kind of like an emerald color to it. The, the pairing of them against the, the Luna Leggings, I'll show you here. I'll try to do a couple little videos on the side too of whatever here. We're really getting loosey-goosey with it. I like these two greens together, and I think that the the two, I would call these both mine. Do I know? Do I know better? Maroon. We'll say this is maroon, okay? And wine. Mar maroon and wine. <laughs> we love the pairing. We love the two-tone look to them. The look of like an oversized hoodie and oversized sweats. I'm already a very petite person, and that kind of just like drowns me out and takes away all of my shapes, so I'm not a big fan of that, but I have seen a lot of girls on the TSL site, and Nicole herself look really, really good in the full sweatsuit. So I'm going to take that back because I ended up cropping the hoodie, and the whole sweatsuit together with the cropped hoodie definitely is more my style, and I love that. So yeah, those are the colors. That's how I would mix and match, but let's dive into the fit, and we'll start with just we will start with the hoodie and it is a unisex hoodie so Zach can actually fit into the small and Nicole sent me the smalls I don't think that there is an extra small in the hoodies because it is meant to be more of an oversized look I already have a stain on this one I've been wearing everything <laughs> pretty much 24 7 true to size is meant no matter what to be a little bit oversized she does have a really big size range though which is great and depending on your body type um, you might be able to size up or size down to get a little bit more of a fitted look for yourself but for me small size it is going to be an oversized for me and even the small somewhat fit stack and our roommate Wyatt actually fits perfectly into a small so they are a true unisex hoodie if you are wanting to get something for your mans then getting the unisex hoodie is solid it is not designed to be a feminine look it is very much designed to be androgynous as we should say can we say that androgynous i thought of androgynous and i looked at my mind i said cheers we love that word i think we're gonna bounce back and forth between the sweatpants and the sweatshirts just to mix it up just add a little spice into things okay same idea i think goes for the sweatpants though right they're gonna be loose they're gonna be um an oversized jogger although she did send me the extra smalls in the pants so i know that they do have extra smalls in the sweats or in the elevated joggers if that's what you're going for so again with these looser in the leg if you are a larger size and have room to size down I bet you can get it to fit a little bit more of like a legging fit um, but it might be a little bit shorter on you because already in terms of the fit here they're hitting me right at the ankle right at the ankle and I actually kind of pull them up or I roll them up a little bit just to get them a little bit higher on like maybe one side because I guess that used to be cool but again you know I'm a millennial so I don't really know what's cool anymore <laughs> 
But the difference between the joggers from the last launch and this launch is that these ones now have a drawstring. It's a solid drawstring. Same thing with the hoodie, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, same drawstring. It's nice and thick and it has a beautiful, what, aglet? We call it an aglet, right? Or is that just for a shoelace? Do we know? I don't know. But it has a little a little capper here. That it's just, it's not gonna pop off. It's not gonna fray, it's not gonna unravel. It's just like not gonna look gross. Overall, the, the fit is gonna be a little bit more customizable here in these. With the drawstring as well, you're gonna be able to get it to fit exactly how you want it to along the waistline. And the logo here is the same in, the, in all of the hoodies, all of the leggings, the soul tank, all of it is gonna have that nice, clean, rubber logo. Last thing to really talk about here is the fabric for these guys. So on the leggings, right, on the sole tank, we had a, uh, a polyester spandex blend. I think it's like 77% polyester, 23% spandex. This is going to be a, a spandex and cotton blend and they're not double lined. So when I think of these, they're not like sweatpants that are fuzzy or fleece. They're actually more like a t-shirt material. So 95% cotton and 5% spandex. So yeah, think about like a 100% cotton t-shirt. You got a little bit of spandex to it, so it's got some stretch, like actually has some like good stretch to it. They're all gonna be like that. So the sweats and the sweatshirts are all the same material. I like that it's light enough that it, I'm not gonna feel overheated in San Diego weather, especially in San Diego when we're on the coast, we live a block from the beach. I'm gonna be able to wear this in the morning and not feel overheated and if I like take it off midday too. It's just, it's light enough to be in like chilly air in the morning, but it's not so overpowering that as soon as the sun comes out, I'm gonna be just sweating bullets. I was wearing it a little bit earlier today and I was totally fine as the house kind of warmed up with the sun coming in on it. So it's good to know that it's not one of those things that it's gonna keep you warm, but it's not gonna keep you overheated. And it's also not something that you would wear like in the snow. If you're in the snow, then you're probably wearing a snow jacket. <laughs> Where did this start? So, I think that is everything within the collection. The only piece that she does have in black is gonna be the Luna leggings, also coming in black. Everything else is in that expected color range. The one thing I did wanna say, guys, is I'm doing a giveaway. Gonna do a giveaway, okay? So, all you gotta do to win the giveaway is follow me on Instagram and Comment down below what your, oh my goodness, I lost a nail, how did I lose a nail? Here we go, getting sidetracked, that would be so frustrating, I can't find this nail. And then boom, my camera overheats. What I was saying, all you gotta do to win this giveaway is comment below your favorite color and your favorite piece in the collection, follow me on Instagram, and I'm gonna raffle it off on the 22nd, right? 22nd. That's the day that this all launches. February 22nd, 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I hope y'all had a glass of wine with me during this. <sighs> oh, welcome back to this weird random world of YouTube. Cheers, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your patience, your understanding, and for being part of my family as I grow through life. I hope y'all are able to snag your favorite pieces. I know that a lot of these pieces are probably going to sell out pretty quickly. She does a fantastic job of stocking everything to maximum capacity. So I would say that most things don't sell out within the first hour or two, but they do usually sell out within the first couple of days. And then she'll do a little bit of a restock later on when, um, you know, a couple items here and there and once in a while get returned. So I would be ready up and ready to get these pieces when they do launch 10 a.m. like I said Mountain Standard Time um, on February 22nd. My code is Megan just to show a little bit of support. I do get a very small amount of commission um, but again more than anything it just shows Nicole that I sent you there and I would love and appreciate the support from y'all. So again thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Who knows when that'll be. Oh uh, we can dream. I'm gonna finish this and have a great rest of my night. Okay.